Hello and welcome. Thank you for dropping in. It's Kristen Fry with Whippy Oshawa Honda and today we have a gorgeous car proof clean 2016 Honda HRV in the EXL with navigation trim level with all wheel drive sitting before us in a deep ocean pearl exterior. Equip a multi reflector halogen headlamps with auto on off. You're also going to get these super bright fog lamps as well as mirror indicator turn signals and LED brake lights. We do have this gorgeous chrome strip right along the front hood there. And if you pop open that hood, you're going to experience your super powerful but economical 1.8 liter IV Tech four cylinder engine made it to a CVT transmission, boasting just over 140 horsepower and 120 foot pounds of torque. Now coming down over to the side, you've got 17 inch aluminum alloy rims complemented by a 17 inch all season radial tire check out that tread you definitely got a couple more driving years left on these tires and of course we have disc brakes all around helping you come to a smooth stop and front and rear splash guards well with roof rails navigation sunroof and privacy tins there's tons more waiting for us let's hop in and show you all around helping you into your brand new hrvs the smart proximity key fob system complete with our lock unlock hatch release and panic mode we're just going to put our hand on the handle to open up but check out our video so you can see how the fob works in its entirety. Taking a quick peek at the interior, love the two-tone gray and black interior. We do have a leather wrapped armrest there and some storage down below. Again, loving the chrome around the speaker. Speaking of speakers, guys, you got a six speaker, 180 watt stereo system, full power amenities, including doors, windows, locks, and mirrors. You also have an expanded driver view mirror giving you tons of view there, and a six-way manual adjustable driving seat. Both driver and passenger are heated with gray leather all throughout the vehicle and perforated edges. Fantastic. Now we do have carpeted mats all around and coming down here, guys, is where you'll find your conveniently placed gas release and hood release. Coming up, we're gonna see our tilt and telescopic lever for those adjustments. And then we come into our this is a, going to be our forward collision warning. We also have a lane departure warning. So these actually indicate if you're coming close to another vehicle or moving out of the lane without your signal. Then you have your windshield wiper de-icer, traction control, and eco mode, allowing you to go into a fuel saving format. Now, before we hop in, just want to point out your blind spot display. There's a camera affixed over on your passenger mirror there. And when you turn on your signal, making a right hand turn, you'll see an image on the middle console, letting you see what's happening in your blind spot of the passenger side. Well, why don't we step in, turn it on so you can see it live time. Just turning over the engine using the push to start. Very easy to read dash panel. We've got our RPM gauge, speedometer, odometer, and tons of information down here. But one thing I do want to point out, guys, you can use this toggle to toggle through. And with this particular vehicle, the mileage is only 9,600 kilometers. So tons of warranty room left to go for you there. Now the rest of the steering wheel, these controls are going to control your upper screen. So as you hit this button, it changes to see the information that you see on that upper screen. So that's pretty cool. The other menu button is right here, and then positive and negative will call up your volume. Arrows allow you to toggle through presets, uh, tracks if you're listening to an iPod, CD, or again, go through those menu options. Source, change from AM, FM, XM, or CD. Again, any other connectivity. Bluetooth is conveniently located down below, and then we also have our cruise control right over on the right-hand side, with paddle shifters slightly above. Now again, this lever over to our left was the blind spot, our signal lever, and our lighting lever, including fog lights. So if we just simply put on our signal to make a right-hand turn, you're gonna see the image come on live time. Pretty cool. And then if we go ahead and push the button at the end of the lever, same concept, it comes on right away. Second push turns it off. Now the lever over to our right, that's gonna be for your windshield wipers, including the rear. Awesome. Now coming over to the screen here, we've got tons of stuff to go through guys, so stick with me. Six different functionality, starting with our navigation. One tip I can give you, when in a functionality, if you call up the menu, it will give you the menu access for said function. So this is where we can go, search our address, put in our place of interest, and then once we have a route in, go to our route options to change it or make any adjustments as need be. 
going back home, if you go in audio, you'll see that screen we just saw. One thing I want to tell you guys, there's a couple of different ways you can go through this audio. You can change the source by hitting that button, hitting the source button on your steering wheel, or again, calling up your menu option. You could change your source or go into the other menu options that you need to utilize. Now with your phone, I'm gonna skip that. I'll let you connect your phone when you come in and stream your music wirelessly to test it out. Settings is where we're gonna to go to find any of our settings, customizations, or maybe take off the guidelines for our cameras. And speaking of camera, let's go ahead and put us in reverse so you can see your multi-view guidelines. Super easy, all you need to do is touch the screen and it changes with you. No more backing up over kids' toys or recycling boxes. And then if we go back home, your information is simply what info you see on this screen. Maybe you don't have it on Navi or audio, but you wanna see something else. You can simply call up your menu and change that to what your preference is. And then Link Connect just allows you to connect with the dealership. Download the app through the App Store. It's complimentary. Coming down, we've got the first ever automated dual touch climate control system. So guys, that's lots of tango wango. What it means is everything's touch screen. If we turn it off, the screen's gonna completely black out. If we turn it back on, we can keep it synced, meaning driver and passenger at the same temperature, or take it off sync so that we can increase or decrease accordingly. Fan speed is right here, airflow is right there, and then these gadgets on the side is for our heated seats. So you have two different levels, high, low, and off. Also front defrost, heated mirrors, as well as the rear. Speaking of rear, we're coming into our gear shifter, as well as our electronic parking brake and brake hold. Check out our video for that. There's tons of tips and tricks for your benefit. And down below, we've got our connectivity for our USB, HDMI, and power outlet. Set your phone and connect it there, let it charge, and it's out of your sight, out of your mind. We've got magic cup holders. So how are they magic? Well, you see we've got one up, one down. We can put them both up to make it large, large, or put them both down to small, small. So you can adjust based on the size of your coffee. And then we come into our sliding console, which opens and closes. And if you open it up, you've got your additional storage, perfect for business cards, notepad, pens, anything of the like. Same storage over in passenger. And then we've got our nice size glove compartment with wheel locks, of course. Your auto dimming mirror and one touch open and close sunroof. So we can go ahead and open that up. It also has a tilt option, guys. So make sure you take advantage of that during the rainy days. And I like to leave our lights on door so when we open it up, lights come on. Lastly, we have vanity with mirrors. So you can see what you're doing late at night. Fantastic. Well, join me in the back where we can go over these magic seat configurations. So stepping into the back seat of your HRV, you've got that gorgeous shark fin antenna, rear spoiler, again, windows that come all the way down. Same as styling as the driver and passenger, the leather trimmed armrest there, the chrome wrap speaker, the cup holder, and then you got tons of room for the feet, guys, and legs. Also have a cup holder and a power outlet for the middle occupant, and then behind the uh, passenger, a nice leather pocket. Adjustable headrests, and this even comes down for either dividing wall if children, or an armrest for, again, those backseat occupants. Speaking of children, we have latching capabilities, super easy to locate and attach to. But I'm sure you want to see some of these magic seats that we've spoken about. So quickly, we're going to go through all of the modes. So we've got our typical five passenger carrying mode, such as this. But then we fold a seat up like this. Got even more stuff? Put up both seats. You can carry plants, strollers, maybe even some luggage. But there's more. We can have one seat down like this or both seats down like that. Well guys, I'm gonna go and enter the tailgate so you can see how much room you have when the seats are fully flat and then we've got two more modes to go through. Come along. So when entering your hatchback, all you're gonna do is take your key fob and we're simply just gonna push and hold. Once you see the lights flash, you know we're okay to open. So we go ahead and open up right below the Honda hatch. And we've got a cargo cover so guys, this can actually come out. It's foldable, collapsible if you will, and you could store it underneath where your spare tire goes. But I just wanted to demonstrate all of that space you have. It's a compact crossover, but you can fit so much stuff. It's truly unbelievable. 
Got a nice handle there to close down. And accessing from the side, we've got that peekaboo handle. But when I open, you're gonna see what's called long mode, and then we have one more surprise. So long mode looks like this. You can get the longest of items in. Photographer, contractor, you can fit it all. And my favorite mode, which we're gonna go see from the passenger side, it's a secret. Come with me. So our last mode, as promised, first we're just gonna creep into this connectivity, but check it out guys, rest mode. It's a bed. So you can actually take the driver headrest off and the passenger and fold the seats down so that it makes a bed. It's amazing. I'll let you take the luxury of lying down when you come in. No lying down while driving, hey? <laughs> Well, thanks guys for tuning in. It's Kristen Fry with Whippy Oshawa Honda. It's always a pleasure. Give us a call, drop by, send an email. This is not going to be here long. Thanks again for tuning in and have a happy Honda day.